Hey guys, what is up? Dave here with another video for the week, and I figured a cool little series to uh, start. I know I didn't do a URL fuzzer video this week, um, but I'm still learning uh, how to code it to do a dictionary attack. So expect an update for that maybe next week. Uh, and it's really funny to say that on like when it would be two weeks for me. <laughs> but uh, expect an update on that probably... One of the videos that's a week of the 7th. So either the 7th, the 9th, or the 11th. Um, but today, I wanted to start a new series about the history of TechX programming and learning and what I've been trying to do and um, other little silly things that, uh, you know, I've tried to create in the past and, you know, maybe open them back up, add on to them, finish them with the new knowledge I have of programming, or uh, just going in and cleaning them up, maybe releasing them open source. Uh, I work for a new company now called Tech Boys. They are incredible. The two guys that are the owners of it are incredibly nice people. And these old tools that I was creating for CPR cell phone repair that I just sort of stopped creating um, will be very useful in their shop. And I want to create these to use them at work and, uh, you know, They'll be open source, so you guys can download them and use them too. And we'll go from there. So today I wanted to start the series off with a mobile-based program that I was making called the Android Toolkit. I was not creative with names back in, like, when did I last touch this? 2016. And 2018. So I was not very creative <laughs> uh, with naming my stuff. Uh, rightfully so. So as you can see, this was an Android toolkit that was going to do device backup, compress it, um, where you wanted to save it. It was going to have a little like log here for um, seeing what it's doing step by step. Uh, and then all these different options. So what I figured we would do is just run it and see if it works see if anything works, see what the actual options in the menus are, make sure the, the uh, I totally just went Canadian there, eh? Um, see if it even does anything. Um, because I don't know if it does. Oh, it does. So it does something. Um, so as you can see, there's the help about us. That <laughs> it doesn't bring up anything. <laughs> um, there's the tutorials. Uh -huh, I'm going to have to add to this. There's some new ones I'd like to add. Um, some websites. Um, those obviously link out. Unlocking, I never finished adding. I'm pretty sure that was going to be for bootloader unlocking. I'm not sure. But basically what my goal, what my idea was, was to just find every public tool on the planet for any phone within the last like two years. Uh and give credits obviously to the creators of said tools but see if i could get see if they were open source and just add their source to this program and it would be an all-in-one encompassing tool um for unlocking samsung phones iphones uh well not iphones uh this would be for android so samsung phones motorola's htc's um huawei's you know whatever uh flashing tools obviously would be odin um, the LG flash tool, there would be different firmware, uh, like to get different firmwares from different places. I'd have to figure out these other ones. I don't even know if these actually work, do they? Doesn't look like it. Um, and then obviously, oh, well, file doesn't do shit. Um, and then there would be like the full backup and it would do it by the, it would basically do it by ADB. So obviously this tool needs a lot of love. And if I wanted to complete it, it would probably be its own series on its own. But let's see what the code actually looks like and see how much I did. Because I haven't looked at this since 2018, apparently. Uh, apparently, I was learning how to use progress bars. I still don't know how to do that today. That's really cool. So, good to know. It would actually... Oh, I never added the tool extraction kit. Oh, God. Um, anyway, so... You can see this here, dialog, dialog result. And this used to be the CPR toolkit. I'm gonna to change it. Tech Tech Boys Toolkit. There we go. And he yeah. And then it would run ADB and pull stuff to the save location. Cool. 
Wow, that's all the code I ever... Oh, wow, I didn't ever get anywhere into this. Does anybody even want me to release this? Holy crap. <laughs> so it would be very easy to add on to this. Um, so for example, let's say getting the firmwares. I never actually coded this button. So what you would do is just process start. And then you do https colon slash slash www dot ipsw me. And that should open ipswme.com or ipsw.me. Yay, it worked on my other monitor. Okay. So it's very easy to add the firmware stuff. And I bet you there's a better way than just making all these public voids. Um, Samsung... There we go. I wanted to copy and paste this one because I would spell it wrong. But again, process.start. There we go. And it's that easy to add the links at least. Um, as far as unlocking, I don't know what I would do here. Tutorials make sense, um, but I don't have this stuff set up. Why would I, you know, whatever, youtube.com slash c slash techx original. So this would be process.start. Ooh, boom. My YouTube channel is there. And then I could add Jerry Rig everything and everything else very easily as well. Um, so a lot of this is just clicking and making sure that I have the right stuff put somewhere. I don't even have this working yet. So. Oh, God. <laughs> Sorry, my uh, my headset was a little too close to my head there. And I really need to move my Blue Yeti back down to my desk. Then my sound quality will drastically improve again. Um, but if you guys have any interest in this tool, uh, you know, let me know. If you want to see this tool completed, I will open source it and throw it up on GitHub and anybody can mess with it. Anybody can add to it and we'll go from there. So I'll talk to you guys later. Um, hopefully, maybe the next video in the series will be an update to this actually having some functionality rather than just like absolutely nothing. Because I have really good ideas for this and I definitely have time to work on it. So I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.